Hello out there, it's Dr. E with TheManualTherapist.com, PhysioAnswers.com, and the newly launched StopThoughtViruses.com. So, why would you choose me for a Google Help out? Well, if you have pain, whether it's headaches, back pain, TMD, knee pain, I can help you. Using principles from the McKenzie Method, along with other manual therapy methods and pain science education, I can teach you what pain is and also what it's not. Research shows us that up to 80% of people or more are what we call rapid responders. So if you're a rapid responder, and chances are you are, I can teach you with a movement assessment, uh, a repeated motion exam, and also a selective functional movement assessment, which looks at you from head to toe for asymmetries. I can teach you a program that's, self, uh, that's tailored just to you. So it would be your own specific program for self-treatment. Those 80% of rapid responders typically they get better within four to six visits, even faster as long as you have perseverance and you listen to your homework. Because chances are you're doing two things. You're doing one thing to make your symptoms persist and you're not doing enough to make them go away. So basically the longer you're in pain, the more your body sets off a, an alarm. So when the alarm goes off in your nervous system or your brain, the threshold for your pain actually lowers. So when the threshold is low, simple things like bending, sitting for prolonged periods of time, standing or lying down a certain way, raising your arm over your head, your brain perceives these things as threatening. It's the threat that causes the pain, not necessarily tissue damage, degeneration, or the results of your MRI. So science also tells us that knowing pain, what pain is, along with what it also is not, helps raise your thresholds and reduce anxiety. So when the thresholds get gets raised, you can actually do more. You can bend more, you can move more. Essentially, you can bank more movements, positions, and activities before you actually feel pain. So my training is pretty varied. I'm a doctor of physical therapy. I've been practicing for about 15 years. I own my own private practice. In addition to uh, being a doctor of physical therapy, I'm certified in McKenzie Method, Manual Therapy, craniofacial pain or oral maxillary pain, TMD and headaches, uh, fascial movement taping or the rock tape method of kinesio taping. I'm a certified strength and conditioning specialist and a fellow of the American Academy of Orthopedic Manual Physical Therapists. So as a fellow, I also train and mentor other physical therapists in Evidence in Motion's Manual Therapy Fellowship Program. So if you're a clinician, I can also help you. And that's, another, that's another thing that my help outs differ than other physical therapists who are on Google Helpouts. If you're having a difficult time with a patient, we can do a Google Helpout. I can watch, I can put your patient through uh, McKenzie Repeated Motion Exam and or Selective Functional Movement Assessment, and I could recommend certain treatments to make sure we find their directional preference and make sure that the patient understands their condition and is also doing the, the proper homework. So it's all really about the homework. No matter if you see someone like myself, like a manual physical therapist or a chiropractor or a massage therapist, understand that what we do in terms of using our hands for treatment or tools or an adjustment, all that stuff is very, very temporary according to the research. Sometimes it lasts for minutes, hours if you're lucky. So it's all about the homework. And I give you something very simple, often two or three things that actually replicate the same effects of a manual therapy treatment. So if those, every time either someone like myself lays, my, lays their hands on you, or you do a movement that actually raises the threshold, you open up a window of improvement, and that keeps the threshold high. Now the body's going to start slowly, slowly lowering it. But if you do the exercise program or the movement program that I prescribe often enough, you keep that window open, keep that window open for about 48 to 72 hours, it often stays up there and your function and your uh, pain is improved. For you slow responders or chronic pain patients, I'm sorry that you're going through a condition like that. Oftentimes, if you have fibromyalgia, or chronic fatigue syndrome, or myofascial pain syndrome, or some sort of undiagnosed pain disorder, your nervous system has gone haywire. So the Stop Vi Viruses program that I've devised encompasses explaining pain and the best of pain science and what research shows. So I'll tell you exactly what pain is, what pain is not, and I'll guide you through graded movements and other positions that may help alleviate that pain along with guidance on sleep, breathing, eating, 
all the basics. Research shows that when you really know pain and you know what it is, that can help decrease your pain, increase your thresholds, and increase your function. You won't be a rapid responder like the 80%, but there is definitely hope for you out there, and don't let anyone tell you that there's not. Every individual has the capacity to decrease their pain and improve their function. So in conclusion, I can help not only patients, but I, I can also help clinicians' patients. So if you're a clinician and you need my help, uh, you can visit me at themanualtherapist.com. I have lots of tips on there where you can schedule a help out. And patients out there, schedule a help out if you find that uh, you think I can help you. Uh, chances are I, I will be able to. So have a great day and I hope you don't need me.